Nice. They're only four and seven years old. <laughs> but Graham and Nolan are already training to become all season athletes, shooting hoops and scoring goals. Play soccer um, and run around and play with the dogs. Three, two, one, go! When it comes to exercise, it's all hands on deck for the Elkins family. Oh, oh, Graham with the sliding finish! For us, being outside in the yard is our favorite place to be because we're really together and we're having some fun, healthy competition, but also working as a team. For this busy mom, staying active isn't just about staying in shape. Here it comes. Take a shot. So it gives us more energy to stay focused for our work. It gives us more um, energy to be with the kids and involving the kids in the activity is just so great for our family to spend time together. She hopes an active lifestyle combined with a healthy diet. Bananas, grapes, strawberries, blueberries. Will help keep her kids from becoming a statistic. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, obesity affects more than 12 million children and adolescents. So about one in three will qualify as overweight or obese. Data shows obese children are more likely to have risk factors for cardiovascular disease, such as high cholesterol or high blood pressure. There's no question about it. The most common cause I see of high blood pressure is a person who's overweight. Hey, good afternoon, Cameron. Hi. How are you doing today? Dr. Ann Walker has worked as a pediatrician for nearly 30 years. During that time, childhood obesity has more than doubled in children and quadrupled in adolescents, according to the CDC. It's huge. We like to say it's ballooned significantly. Dr. Walker starts monitoring her patients' blood pressure and screening their cholesterol at age two before most kids are even potty trained. So we're looking at cardiac health prevention in primary care from as young as we can actually effectively look at that person. But cholesterol screening in kids is somewhat controversial. Earlier this year, the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force released a report saying there's not clear evidence to support screening children and adolescents for high cholesterol. When you actually try to look at the data and see, are we saving lives by screening for cholesterol, that's a tough thing to prove. Dr. Matthew Brothers, a pediatric cardiologist, says families should adopt a heart-healthy lifestyle. Dietary changes, uh, regular exercise, routine checkups with the primary doctor. The American Heart Association offers six simple steps to help you get started. Find free time for activities. Make time in your schedule to get moving as a family. Make a weekly meal plan and stick to it. Simplify your family's schedule so you can have more time for the things that matter. Take baby steps. You don't have to change everything at once. Work as a team and encourage kids to help prepare healthy meals. And parents and caregivers should live by example. We've always tried to model good, healthy behavior. And I think for us, it's all about balance. So we're definitely a household that indulges in treats and good food when it's appropriate. But we also are all really active. We exercise almost daily. Oh. Good move, good move. What we try to talk about is that this okay. isn't just the child's the condition. Hand. The child doesn't buy the groceries, the child doesn't make those decisions for the house. It's a family, it's a community thing. It's empowering parents, um, trying to undercut the enabling. According to the CDC, obese children are more likely to become obese adults, which can lead to serious health problems like diabetes and heart disease. If you start younger, then we are worried that uh, we'll see more and more uh, young heart disease in their 30s and 40s. Pediatricians play a big role in their patients' health, educating kids and equipping families with the knowledge they need to help fight childhood obesity. For Carolina Impact, I'm Danielle Koser reporting.